All right, folks, it's that time of the week again. If you clicked on this video and you're not sure what it is, once a week I sit down and I answer some comments from some of our regular viewers and others who have commented on our videos throughout the week. If that doesn't sound like something that you're interested in watching, totally understand if you click off the video right now. All right, we're going to jump right in. First, on our suggestions, Elizabeth Ross, one of our great viewers, says... One of my favorites with Chris, this is from our Chris Rupp and Tim Faust reaction last week, Long Black Train. One of my favorites with Chris is Moving On, written by Chris and released with Home Free just as he was leaving the group. It's really good and packed with meaningful lyrics. He also has some shining moments. Do you hear what I hear? Arranged by his brother Adam. Enjoyed your reaction. Hope you're feeling better today. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. Yes, I, I'm pretty much completely cleared up from being out in the weather last week. Penny Garrity, another regular viewer, says, check out their version of Angels Among Us. Okay, I'll put that on the list for sure. KMW Wrench, another regular viewer, says, two extremely talented men also did a version of Angels Among Us. Nice. Lots of great things on Chris's channel. Chris's channel, I recommend, should have been me, which you wrote, Amazing Grace, for which I was totally unprepared. Country Reigns, another original with a full country band. The place where the lost things go. So many. Excellent. Gotcha, gotcha. We'll, we'll put those on the list for sure. Anita Wright says, you should check out Chris by himself doing Amazing Grace. It will blow you away. Love your action. Thank you, Anita. I appreciate that. So we've got a couple here for Amazing Grace. We'll definitely be putting that on a poll soon. Broom Rider 1492 on our voice play reaction last week says can't wait for your reaction to jeff's new one two and a half days old over half a million views yeah i am pumped it's Folsom prison blues it's on our poll last i looked i think it was blowing the competition out of the water i think it's going to win the poll handily so we should be f filming that next week and then it'll be a few weeks before it's up on youtube bob kitten 8150 says this was ellie's project this this was the the creep video Arrangement, lighting, and video. I always appreciate your take on music and visuals. Consider covering a few of their short vids. Their little gems. Yep, Bob, I've been trying to figure out how I can do that. Some folks have suggested kind of maybe getting a compilation, doing two or three together. We'll see. I definitely want to get into those. And Magic Rat 420 on Bruce, my hometown, says the por the performance that Amy Lou Harris gave of this is wonderful. Okay, I will have to check that out. All right, on our comments video for last week, Karina Rodebach, another great viewer of the channel, says, Happy anniversary from EOV. Last year was our one-year anniversary doing reaction videos on the channel. As for chickens, I've mainly had Well Summer, which I am not familiar with, Sussex, Arcanas and Silver Dwarf Hamburgs. Not hamburgers. Nice. That is that is excellent. I am so glad to find some fellow poultry lovers on here would never have guessed. It seems like that the chicken culture is m much wider than I ever knew and realized because even here in rural Mississippi, whenever I was growing up, we were raising chickens. We were one of the only few people around here that actually had a that had a decent sized flock. So this is nice. Jillian Drysdale, another great viewer of the channel, says, Congratulations on your first year. Here's to many more. Thank you, Jillian. And Rod Connor, another great viewer, says, Congrats on the milestone. It's been absolutely great and enjoyable. Looking for, well, a decade or so. <laughs> be safe. Thank you, Rod. I appreciate that. I hope we're still here in a decade. Hope I'm still alive in a decade. That'd be great. On our long black train... Chris Rupp and Tim Faust video, Carol Burnett, another great viewer, says, I love this collaboration. Chris's vocals seem to get lost and home free. He's a great musician. I was glad to find him doing well in his solo work. Yeah, he he. the ones I've seen of him when he was with Home Free, he does seem to be almost a little fifth willish there, like you don't really get how good he is with the group. Chris does a great arrangement of Poor Wayfaring Stranger. Love Wayfaring Stranger. Great, great song. Covered that myself live. With another vocalist, I first heard that one just after the war in Ukraine began, and the collaborator was singing in Russian. Nice. Or another Slavic language, which made the song even more haunting. Thanks, Cole. Thank you, Carol. I'll put that on the list. Check out for sure. Miami Dolphins fan says, love this. Chris's gospel videos are favorites of mine. Singing gospel reminds me of growing up in Flagler Street Baptist Church here in Miami in the 1960s, early 70s. Nice, absolutely. That is that's great. Yeah, I, a lot of musicians, myself included. That's where that's where we start out. 
I started off singing and playing in church. I still do it well. It's been a while since I actually played and sang in church, but I still would <laughs> do that. But yeah, 100%. Lynn Ramsey says, The Chris leads with Home Free I can think of are Away in a Manger, Seven Bridges Road, Moving On, which is the original song, is Farewell to Home Free. So that's another suggestion there for, for Moving On. Yeah. And I'll have to, I will hope to check out Away in a Manger at Christmas time. And I just did Seven Bridges Road. It was fantastic. Joan N63 says, Great of you to do this song. I've mentioned it before at various reactors, but I haven't often seen them doing anything with it. But doesn't this sound amazing? 100%. The song, how they sing it, is so powerful. I honestly think it's much better and more beautiful than the original. Chris and Tim have sung together several times, but Chris Rupp solo and other projects such as 7th Avenue with his sister Tristan Rupp. I remember somebody mentioned that before. And Cypress Fire are also worthwhile. Suggestion, Chris Rupp, Amazing Grace. Obviously, the Amazing Grace is going to have to go on a poll soon. as too many people calling for it. Dagmar S., another great viewer of the channel, says, Another collab great collaboration between these two guys. Love the contrast in their voices, but they blend nicely. And always love it when Tim hits those low bass notes. Tim is one of the few people who can do justice to a Josh Turner song. Absolutely. Hard to believe it is just two voices supplying all the sounds. Chris is very good at arranging and layering the music he does. 100%. On the Voice Play Creep video, Story Night Diner, another great viewer of the channel, also one of our patrons, says, Did you notice that Ellie did the arrangement and video and the lighting? Of course, he outdid himself. And I didn't, I've, I've been forgetting to check who arranged it. I was making a guess of who arranged it bef at the end of the video and then checking to see if I was right. And uh, last couple of videos, I have just forgotten to do that. But I'd already had several people, a couple, couple of people anyway, think on patreon and then now here in the comments to tell me that El Elliot had done that and yeah he did a great great job christine stromberg christine another great viewer of the channel i think it's been a while since we've had one of christine's comments on on our list here says caesar is beautiful here but it's anthony's voice that brings tears to my eyes in this one so much motion yeah anthony was phenomenal alona dever another great viewer of the channel says i am old never heard of the song but it was amazingly beautiful ellie has only Done one other arrangement. That was Eleanor Rigby right after Earl left. I got to check that out. Huge Beatles fan. Love that song. I hope we don't have to wait another three years for an arrangement from him. They drop a new one this week. Totally, totally different. You'll love it. Cannot wait. I'll have that on Patreon poll next week. Karen Wolf says, I also don't get the mystery of click numbers on YouTube. In the air tonight and creep, I made mention that in the air tonight and creep are two of their best, for me, two of their best recent songs and neither one of them are really relatively performing that well on youtube for some reasons and i'm not sure why so perfectly done maybe time will show i'm working on increasing the numbers daily reaction well done by the way thank you karen i appreciate that yeah I, both of those deserve a, a, at least a million views a piece bj speck another great viewer of the channel says so heartrending wistful and gorgeous ellie did the arranging video lighting superbly jeff thought the mirror would be a perfect reflection of the characters and their thoughts caesar brought in his mirror yeah all that that was great i mentioned that in the video that that was it was unexpected really well done dta music another regular view of the channel been with us for a while says voice plays and jeff stuff has been taking off Really well on TikTok and Instagram lately. Possibly other platforms have been cannibalizing some views from YouTube. Interesting. Interesting. That is a very good hypothesis, DTA. Yeah, I didn't know that because I'm not on. The only site I'm on is YouTube. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't know that. On The Weight, this is my band, Southern Gentry Music Reviews, cover of the band's The Weight that we release on YouTube this week maggot play another great viewer who also is one of our patrons says excellent i have not heard this song in a long time thank you cole thanks maggie i appreciate this karina rodebach another great viewer i'm not sure can't remember if we already had one from karina this this time or not says i like this cole thank you karina appreciate that Columbe, another regular viewer says very soothing nice 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 thank you Columbe. i appreciate that Pam Forrester, one of our favorites on this channel, says, Love this perfect summer song. Makes me feel happy. Thank you. Thank you as always, Pam. Carol Burnett says, First of all, I really like your version. Second, how have I never known the actual title of this song? I had no idea what I was going to hear until it started. I really appreciate you sharing your music. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. Yeah, the song, The Weight. The only reason I only learned of the title after I 
actually embarked on a <laughs> professional music career, I knew the song. And it wasn't until I went to a show that a friend of mine, actually the guy that played bass for me on my record, his band was playing, and they played the song. I was like, man, I love this song so much. What is, what's the name of this song anyway? And I Googled it. It's like, oh, The Weight. I would never have guessed that. So, yeah, totally understand that. Elizabeth Ross, another great view of the channel, says, I like the way the transitional chords between verses build upon themselves, kind of like building blocks with each new one adding its weight to the progression. Very nice rendition overall. I did have some trouble distinguishing the words, but that might be due to the age of my eardrums. I'll listen again. Thank you for sharing your music. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. And yeah, it's probably not your ears, Elizabeth. That song in particular, I really went for kind of a southern drawl with heavy diphthongs going on where you, you really couldn't understand what i was saying <laughs> so probably not you probably me on that one boss fan 49 another great viewer of our channel a, a patron also says easy like sunday morning nice mellow rendition lush harmonies thank you boss fan i appreciate that yeah the harmonies there we went really loose on the majority of the choruses and then that last verse where there's you know some of the notes are just a little bit off here and there and then at the end of the courses where we do that layered build, we'll try to tighten it up a, a little bit more. And that's actually me doing five vocals and then Kyle doubling one of the vocals. And we may, I can't remember whether we double tracked him doubling one of the vocals. But anyway, loved, loved doing that song. Really fun. And also, it's, it's another, it's, I won't say coincidental, but it's crazy we released this on youtube tuesday and robbie robertson passed yesterday and he was just a phenomenal artist i know there was a lot of bad blood between him and the other guys in the group and there's two sides to each story some people say no he was he was great and he was the guy that did everything and then other people said no he was he was terrible but regardless i don't think there's anybody that argues over his talent the man was extremely talented and you can see that in his score composing for film cinema score composing so really really sad to see robert robertson goes and our, our prayers are with his family all right on bruce my hometown reaction carol burnett says bruce is older than i am by more than a decade but i can attest to the closed stores and factories shut down in my hometown i worked in a hosiery mill during my first two years of college talk about an experience that will keep you in school i bet and the building literally has the painted windows and the building literally has the painted windows and sits empty. The current local government is attempting to make it a tourist destination, and they've not done a bad job. It's hard on the older folks because the county was dry until the 90s, and now there are microbreweries on every corner, although they are still outnumbered by fundamentalist churches. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's, that's great. Maggie at Play says, Thanks, Cole. Enjoyed your thought-provoking commentary. I appreciate seeing the music through the eyes of the songwriter-performer that you bring. I remember the riots of the mid to late 60s being young and impressionable at the time. With Vietnam, the riots, the killings, the marches throughout the country for social reform, the demands for changing the age of the majority, 21 to 18, there was a lot of sadness, madness in the country, a lot to absorb. There was also a breath of hope, the summer of love, Woodstock. Even in the hottest days, there is some cool that comes in, and the coolest days, some warmth lingers. I think Springsteen captured the moods of the country with this album. To me, much of the music is upbeat while the words are somber. The yin and yang. Great, Maggie, and that was so well put. Thank you for that contribution. Really, really loved hearing your thoughts on that. And finally, on our Larkin Poe Fortunate Son video, and I hate that this one is not getting a lot of views because it's one of my favorites we've done. I love checking out this group. It's only got like, last I looked, it had like 30 views and I really was hoping to kind of get them a little bit more exposure here and be able to justify reacting to them more. But Gail Seat on Humbert says they are terrific. One of the few musicians I follow. It's a slide guitar. Megan is a wizard on it. So yes, a dobro basically. There were three sisters originally. The Lavelle sisters. Yes, yeah, somebody somebody mentioned this on Patreon when we released over there. And they were folk, but Jessica decided not to continue as a touring musician the tour musician life they switched over to folk rock rebecca sings lead and writes music blood harmony is one from about a year ago now that i like and of course there is bleached blonde bottle blues a sisterly comment on the years megan had blonde hair start in georgia they start in georgia they are based out of nashville now in 
a complicated way of musicians. Rebecca is married to Tyler Bryant, whose bassist used to be Noah Denny, who is now Avi Kaplan's drummer. Tyler Bryant is in Tyler Bryant and the Shakedown. Okay, nice. I didn't realize that. That's fantastic. They are fairly well known and open for Willie Nelson this year. One very different song is an early one, Mad as a Hatter, that has quite a personal story behind it. You have to do at some point. Yeah, I'd love to check check out some more Larkin Poe. Really wish we would have got more views on there to justify spending our all of our resources with you know four people working on the show to to make more. And I could do I could do it a Patreon exclusive. Bob Kitten eighty one fifty says yes. I've been waiting for someone to cover some Larkin Poe. Check out one of their older songs, Mad as a Hatter. And a newer one, Bad Spell. They do a lot of covers this way with just the two sisters filming themselves. They're all good. Excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to check, it, check out more Larkin Poe, even if I don't do it for the channel, for myself, definitely, because they were fantastic. And that is going to wrap us up, folks. Thank y'all so much for watching this. As y'all know, the our viewers that make it all the way through these videos are called into video clubbers eov club so if you've watched it all the way through you are now part of the eov club we thank y'all so much for all the support likes shares comments subscriptions patreon support all that please keep it coming i know i'm about to get really busy with some other stuff i got on my personal life i'm hoping i'm going to be able to continue these it may be a little bit shorter than this but i definitely want to keep answering these comments live on camera every week and Again, we just appreciate the support. We hope everybody has a great week. This week we've got, I know last week I said that it was supposed to be the Kenny Rogers home free, and it, that I was wrong. I didn't have the list in front of me, and I also forgot to pull the list up again. But this will be home free Kenny Rogers, and then we've got Disney Villains on voice play next week, I believe. And I'm, again, not sure. I forgot to look up here what we got for for our we got a bruce on tuesday and i can't remember what we got on wednesday and of course we'll have another home free next week so y'all stick around and we will see you soon